Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and I'm Mephone. As the regular season is officially complete, and now we are about to step in the, the NBA, NBA playoffs. playoffs on 2K Sports. It's next after this. Hey guys, welcome to the second game of the NBA Playoffs. As we're about to start things off here for the next NBA matchup of the playoffs. The fourth versus fifth seed of the Sixers and the Bulls. That is correct. All we know here, we just got a great, great solution here for this match. But the Sixers, Joel Embiid and our James Harden, man, they're all on the attack group. They are the best uh, performing teams that they have already been playing out here before. But I'm pretty sure that there might be somebody else that could be definitely going for the leadoff change if there's a chance for those two guys, including Darius Maxi, Matisse Feibel, and sometimes Tobias Harris. Well, there might be another way to get things around a bit, but we will find things out if there's a change, if they can tie this series up. Right now, the Bulls are still in the lead 2-1 over the Sixers. Let's head you down to Chicago at the United Center to start the presentation. And right now, the adding a commentator here, right now, we, I will be adding a newer one to bring back. Right now, it's Fan. Hey, thank you guys so much right now. How does it all come along with you, you all? Well, we're doing very good. Um, come on in. We can definitely enjoy it and also watch the game for this amazing matchup and for everything. Oh man, looks like we got a great matchup here. It's in between the Sixers and the Bulls. I'm pretty sure I could do that one. Yeah, let's give it off a go and send you down to Chicago. Here we go. And the teams are in the locker rooms. Joel Embiid and their teammates are all ready to be punched up. And a gorgeous downtown skyline here at Chicago. This is turning out to be one of the bestest places here in the city in the whole U.S. Well, it's been really great so far. I think we're all ready for this game. And joining with me, Fan, and me, Phone, right on the sideline, will be Ali LaForce. And for Sixers, James Harden, 22 points, 10 assists. Ali is on, David's on the sideline, ready for action. David, good evening. Tobias Harris, since he was 10 years old, has spent the summer training with George the Iceman Gervin in San Antonio. Harris said, having him in my ear has helped my game, made me love the game even more. And Gervin says, I'm his coach as far as putting that ball in the hole. He's a good student too. Kevin? David, that's David thank you very much here for Tobias Harris. Miss her. Thank you for that. Thank you. Right now, the starting lineups has occurred here for the Sixers and the Bulls here for tonight. Fan, what do you think who will have the higher average player if there's a chance for them to take a, a wild guess? Well, my wild guess can really be uh, very the biggest uh, games I have ever seen before. Hmm. I wonder if there's a choice in between Bulls and the Sixers. Now, when at that time, I could feel like the process is already uh, hyped up. But there might be another solution here if there's a chance for that. Because you know, there might be another one to go nearby. Doc Rivers is eighth season with the Philadelphia Sixers. This is his uh, eighth time coaching with the with the team. And for that one, Billy Donovan, that is the head coach for, for the Bulls. And off we're set to go. Game four and the Sixers wins the tip off. All fueled up and we are ready to go for the fourth game. Let's see what happens so far. It could be a great matchup. Inside, Joel Embiid over Yusevic. That's a great scoring drought for Joel Embiid to start the first period. And of course, right now, we've just got a great service here of Tyrese Maxi. Sometimes with James Harden, he was able to make up a beard, man. Might be a little bit tough on, tra on, uh, on the work, but can be a little bit difficult off the range. Dossimu against Harden. Three to shoot with the two. It's good. Dossimu has his first bucket release bit and has his tied this game up by two. Really extending itself can be very tricky. Five outside, covered by Vilak Zach Levine. 
Embiid, stepping back a bit, passes back to Harris. Moves over back to Thibault. Around Levine, and it's missed, and it's off the rim. Levine with the ball, going back the other way is Alex Caruso. Back to Dazimu. And Embiid still on him, wanted to look for a screen. He rose it on Harris. Watching the screen, it's Vucevic. He gets the nine. But not tonight. It's Vucevic with the basket drive and a good pass here by DeRozan. DeRozan's gotten a great courage of skeleton here. I'm pretty sure, but it can be very difficult to so, uh, take a, a man on the opposing on, on each side. He might be ready for that. Dallas moving right to Vucevic, and it's lost the ball, and it's Fiebel taking the other way. And of course, Zach Levine, he lost against Milwaukee here. That was the first game of the NBA playoffs that have already happened before. They do. They always get some uh, transition in the numbers, but I thought that DeRozan had it all in cover down in transition, of course. Now that is a good basket here for James Harden. He's picking up his first time in this bucket here for game four. Levine on Fievel, back to DeRozan. DeRozan switches over, going inside from the paint to box. It's rebounded by Tobias Harris. Tobias Harris receiving his first rebound. One of his uh, special teammates that he might be uh, heading for is, is to face on his work of addict and makes his field goal, but he really wants to like get right for it. Hard enough. In and out. Never missed by Philadelphia. And that's a last night win for Joel Embiid. A face up with a win against Toronto Raptors. They did always. They have it up there on the board. I'm pretty sure they got, got some good average too. Fievel almost lost it, but Harden holds on. Right over again is Maxi. Back inside, and B, he's fouled, and it's off the rim. Vucevic has picked up his first personal as Joel and B will head to the free throw line to shoot two. This will be Chicago Bulls' first team foul with a minute and 38 to go. And Frog's gross of this MB, he really has um, um, a strength that he gets right in cutting. But it's kind of very tough for him to try to work the angle a bit. And sometimes it, it's really hard to keep an eye on the prize. First free throw is good for Embiid. And for the process for himself, that's because he, he's the overrated player that he has earned. Three players are checked out as Niang, Green, and Korkmaz are checked in. Meanwhile, for the Chicago Bulls, five players are checked out as Levine moves to the shooting guard. Second free throw for Embiid is good. Now he has four points in the game. Here's Levine. He just is off to White. Inside is Thompson. Embiid putting a pressure on him with the blocking. No way he goes. It's Kobe White with the drive. That's a great passing communication here, holding the ball. And there's the cutting. That's what you want to do to get right in timing. Harden right to Corkmans. Stopping the pressure is Niang. Bounce pass, Green over MB. Over Thompson. He scores big. And over two pointer releases. They are still trying to get, gain momentum out there. This is really the tough and hard in situation at that point. This can be very tricky for them to make their way. Oh my goodness! Zach Levine has slammed it. Oh, I know that one. That slam is just a pow wow moment. I really can't blame this one because of all that Zach Levine was going to get there in timing. That's just a, that was a heck of a lot of uh, pressure here. He knows that one. Great drive. And that was your slam dunk presented by AT&T 5G Ultimate Internet Access right from your mobile to the world. Niang, over to two, 
It's picked up by MB. Green tries again. Under 20 seconds left. Finding Embiid in the two range. A number two pointer releases for Embiid. They still have the lead up again. Very tight. Very tight squeeze here on the bounder. That looks like Embiid has it all through. In and out. A remiss by Chicago. And Embiid, the angle. Almost had it. But it's not the half court shot. As it comes up with 10 to 8 run as they close the first quarter. Really good job on that one, but we'll be right back after this. And the second quarter is about to start. It's now 10 to 8 lead for Philadelphia, leading by two. And on the right, going for Michael Jordan. He's the only man, but he's the greatest player of all time with the Bulls. Yeah, I really like Michael Jordan, and of course, Scotty Pippen here on the left. That's number 33, if you see it went on before. And the last dance on, on ESPN. Uh, actually, it's a, it's a great way to get my through it. But pretty sure, I think we're going to see somebody else go for it, I think. Levine making a better drive out there. He wound up to make another one by. Millsap right to Corkmans. Corkmans back to Harden. Screen not given, and he's fouled, count the bucket and one! Kobe White received his first personal as James Harden gets his first basket. You never want to miss this guy, because of what happened for, for James Harden, he was already uh, picking up a play. And that drive, it was a hard on impact. Given all that was uh, lots of love out there to Philadelphia, he will be shooting one at the free throw line. I can see that name, it says Da Bills. My father's gonna be calling the DA of Da Bills. That looks a little weird. Maybe it probably, uh, that's what they pronounce it. Arden hits the first, and now it's 13 10. Bulls trail by three. He finds White. Now White going back in the paint. The D tight. Rebound by Thompson. He gets a piece of it. The dunk is in. Wow, that Tristan Thompson wasn't going to be able to expect it because what they've done here. I don't know what to say about that, but that's a that's a heck of a heck of a run. Millsap inside, and a great D is picked up by Levine. White in the other hand. Veteran of University of North Carolina is about to take his first set. Levine! Three-pointer! And it's Kobe White with the six. They have the lead up by two for Chicago. What a play moment out there. Without able to answer back quickly, they know the secret. Millsap drives and a layup is good for Millsap. He's got his first bucket as it's now tied again once more. Yeah, it's a bit hard, hard inside because of uh, it's a very hard, uh, hard team to compare by. By the fourth seed and the fifth seed, well, uh, you know, it's very tough in the last. Now with t-shirt time, I, I know they're going to grab some great shirts out there. That is bull. The uh, Benny, that the bull uh, on the on the half court. Nope, on the uh, on the outside right on the court. Right down there. Yeah, the mascots, they really love the bull. Sometimes uh, the running bulls can be in, in Chicago, ready for everything that they want. But without any other uh, clues, I may be uh, going for is to take on the uh, second team of this effort that could do it once more. New changes releases for Chicago and Philadelphia as Matisse Feibel checked back in. Jones Jr. comes in for the Bulls. Now he will pick it up on Vucevic. Caruso over Green. Rebound by Vucevic. And he has it all. He has his first bucket and now the second bucket has gone back in there for the second time. They really got some higher average here with this players. They really do. Not just all, all the players that they really wanted to keep an eye on, but that's uh, a lot of, uh, lot of muscle. Rebound of Idasamu. 
That's a move for three to lead. Yes, sir! Still goes alive! The Bulls are, are in the lead by five. What a take here for Dawson move with nobody around. It looks like he's trying to trick the players. Millsap, back to Fiebel. Maxi, over green, five to shoot. Maxi for three, nobody around. He's got it, and they're down by two, and it's going to be a close neck battle run. Ah, oh, Tyrese Maxi, he was like already like clearing out, but he wants to help out with the team. Didn't want to resist that. Great rebound by Millsap as a great defender on Fiebel. Now here's Millsap. Only well, covers his first two of the ball game, and in the first assist, first rebound, I meant, he's putting it up on a lot of pressure. Fiebel. Two minutes left to play here in the first half. Maxi stepped back. Oh man, you bet that would count. He's betting on the count. He really does it all. And Matisse Fiebel was always a, a, a run out score. Burn out like he did. He rose in. Alley oop. A successful through for Jones Jr. Great job by DeRozan, and that's the first assist for the Bulls. Rise up. There's more to find. And the foul is called on Vucevic. The basket will count for Tobias Harris. Second personal foul on Vucevic. Another team foul releases on the Bulls. Now jo Joel MB will check in for Paul Millsap as Tobias Harris is at the free throw line shooting one. And let's just say that, um, that those players can be very hard here on offense because what they have done here is a hard in impact. There's nobody around him, so he has to find another solution to come up with a different plan for, for the head coach from the Sixers. And sometimes with the Bulls too, they really got to go right to attack it. Philadelphia up by one. Dasamu back to DeRozan. DeRozan and the attack. Two-pointer. Good. And that's a back-to-back -back score. Maxi. Back to the other way. Embiid under pressure. Back to Maxi. Maxi. Green right to Harris. Harris looking for a man opener, and he finds Maxi. Fade, Green, with the lead pressure. No good for Fiebel. That was a very uh, tough on a shot. Man, that was very hard. Oh, Caruso up. He still doesn't have it. And it looks like Tobias Harris will have to call timeout here for 32.5 seconds. Their offensive, their offensive uh, relining is not turning out terrific. They need to like fix it something else. And the score is 24-23. It's almost complete. We'll be right back with just 30 seconds left. Just a good offensive look here. There might be some good average for Bulls. And sometimes for Sixers, we might have it all. And we're back right now with 32.5 seconds. It's the Sixers trail by one. Harden with a new changeup as Harris will have the look on the other end. Now he finds Embiid. Fade off. Oh, he took them down. Oh, you my goodness, he just did it. How did he do that? I didn't even see that. Well, if you did see one, he just put a fade here on Tristan Thompson. Oh man, that, that was like a fade off says. He just said, said, I don't know, I forgot what he just said already, but this is very uh, difficult. Wow, what a facing rebound and Cork Miles holds the ball. We have come to halftime, 25-24 score. And now with the presenters here to show you the sideline, let's have David checking in. David? Thanks very much, Doc. A high scoring affair in the first half. Did you think coming in that it would be this kind of shootout? Not at all. I mean, we're not playing good enough defense to guard anybody, so you know, we just got to play better defense keep the ball in front of us. Doc, thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Thank you, Thank you David. David. Second half coming up after this. Close game in between those two. I wouldn't even expected to see that one coming. Well, it's time for uh, time for some recap here. 
for Bulls and Sixers. Let's check it out. I'm here for the first half of the game. Close call, but the first half statistics are on the board. That's it for now. Let's take you back to UD Night Center to start the third quarter. Yeah, we'd like to welcome you back here at the United Center, home of the Bulls, as it's now going to be start for the third quarter. With the process of MB, this all that turned out for him, and he made him a, their better life. Yeah, of course, he's always that good. He's just on a percentage of the field goals. Seven minutes on court, and ten minutes on ten points in the game. But now, for a moment of all they've been waiting for, I think he might be all be turning up and ready for take for the second one. With the start of three-pointer, it's Gossamo! The Bulls are in a lead by three. No, by two. Well, it's a good call reaction. And I just heard that Gossamo was a was a heck of a performance run that they did. Oh, Fiebel. He'll back pass. Nice take, and that was Feibel with the assist. The Embiid's got 12 points in this game. It's a tied net score. They've got numbers out there. Most of all, the Embiid is a process in the attitude. He rolls in and slams down! It's a two-point lead for the Bulls! And, uh, and, a, and a team of the Sixers are needs to find another way to get right by it. They always do. Look out that below. D. Rosen really scores, and he just wants to go right for the piece of right to left. Six to shoot. Harding over up again. Another miss by Philadelphia. Yazimu is scoring big here tonight, and here he goes. D. Rosen! Two-time dunk. What a carryout. This is like a worse thing that nobody has ever called it before. That's a bad decision here for, for the head coach of the, the Sixers to bring him back. Back to Harding. Maxi right to Embiid. Back to Maxi. Fade. He goes over to Harris. Around the fade. The shot. That's a tough one. No foul is on Chicago as Harris has picked up five points. And Maxi with the assist. They really have much more momentum out there. They just gotta like go right from big point seven. It's kinda like stronger with the strategy. Free! Busevich can't hit the triple. Again, Harden. Back to Fiebel. Fiebel right to MB. Over again, it's Fiebel. Back to Harris. Backing over is Harding with the elbow. Good. Tied up now by 31, and it's going all over the place. 23.7 average of the percentage of a rebound. It's like already been picked up his points here. Just a uh, just a decade they have played. Three pointer can't hit the go for Chicago. MB dishes off to Harding. And the fans are going louder with a D. Maxi outside. Bounce pass, a little bit short. And beat up. In and out, no good on that double. The doubles are giving them a lot of hard on this one. The plays, it's not gonna turn out better. But they need more to try to, to, to take the pressure here and then move it around the boards. was a big impact already, but no foul is on Sixers. I don't understand it because they, that was supposed to be an offensive foul. No, they didn't know about the shooting foul that's given up here. But what happened to DeRozan? He lost the ball. Oh my goodness, that was, uh, that was so close. 
I don't know what to say, but it looks like it's what's happening here before. I, I, that was very tough. Man. I don't know what to say about that, but that was a very tough angle with the shot. They've really got knocked them out like they did here before. Next timeout is called by Chicago Bulls with a minute and 33 to go. This looks like a biggest, uh, biggest deficit opposite of the same, uh, same players that they already have it out there. And oh man, Benny the Bull is like already like on the floor having fun. Yeah, you guys, all, all of a sudden you, can, you just can't remember the mascot here, but that's, uh, that's what they always have fun for. In the postseason, sometimes regular season, they always done, done a lot much better than they have. Of course they do. Nothing for everybody, but they really like to do it all for a fun time. New group substitution here for the, for the Sixers and the Bulls. Now Tristan Thompson is carried in for the Nikola Vucevic. And right now, helping out will be Yang, Green, Corfaz, and Millsap. It's a nice tee carried for Millsap. Five players already checked out. Yang. Switches off, back to Harden. He finds Corkmoss. Nowhere to go with the two. The open look, no good. Caruso back in the other lane. Hits off the green. And a take up around. Now Caruso with the assist. This really goes for a big bang. And the fury of that, but nothing else really carried it. Corkmoss to Millsap, back to Corkmoss, steps it up, Niang watching him, and it's rebounded by White. White receiving his third rebound, and a take up, and puts back, put the pressure in, and the Bulls are back in the lead again. Once again, this is like a hard, harder sport here between the fourth and fifth seed. It's a, it's a higher in average for the fifth seed to win it all. And sometimes the lower average can be on the fourth seed. Millsap back to green. Six to shoot. He goes up, take the drive, and they have it up on the board. The back-to-back -back skill challenge. Harden on white. He goes right in. Inside the paint. Green for three. Got it. That's a free bowler, and they're up by two. Harden, Korkmaz, and he just stepped out of bounds. No shot given up. Nice D. This is all called for Kobe White. He was a, he's a professional player. He's just like a, he's a throw hitter. Jones Jr. comes in for Williams, and the Bulls will close it the third quarter. 38 to 36 is your score. We are on your way now to finish off the last quarter left. It's the fourth quarter coming up next, 38-36. Bulls are looking for a chance to win in game four if they have a chance, just like the first two games. We'll be right back after this. And with all the Billy Donovan talk, this is what they have the teammate to say. Well, I like the way that they already played here, but sometimes for all the plays that comes up for the game, they want Billy Donovan to just go right there. If they're going to shoot it, well, they're just going to shoot it at that point. Sometimes it misses, sometimes it makes it in there. So you just got to go right for your uh, for your head-on matchups here. And the fourth quarter starting right now, we have the Yang tying the game up by 38. And all with the Chicago Wild uh, lineups as occurred, we are start down. We need to start doing it now. Caruso, right to White. Change up with the man. Korkmaz on White. Three-pointer outside, Harden on Caruso. White for three. Good! White makes the three! And it's a three-point lead for the Bulls. Oh, Korkmaz. Oh, watch out. The traffic is already below him inside. Scoring my quarter is just a way out of average here. This is the toughest game they play. Yes, they do. All I can say is that they once the once they have it inbound, they have it all in there. A uh, Demonte Green has got it all covered in there. Philadelphia trailing by three. 
Back to Corkmaz. Hard and out. In the bound, Yang. Green to tie the three. Rebounded by White. Another missed uh, opportunity for Green, and nobody carries it along. Nice D by Danny Green. Harden with the ball. He finds Niang outside. Now the screen will help for Paul Millsap. Very back to Harden. He finds Millsap. This shows off to Korkmaz. Free for Harden to tie it. Another miss by the Sixers. They're biting the dust already. They just didn't really work it out anyway. Tight D, Millsap got it. Green with the ball. Niang up and again. Korkmaz. Back to Millsap. Outside the range. Hey, you bet! You bet! Millsap ties the game and five points occurs. Oh man, Millsap really has gotten some out great average out there. I think the Bulls are not that happy. Timeout call by Chicago. Only 2.36 to remain in the fourth quarter. It's a tie game. This is the closest bound that they have ever played here before. And sometimes their second game, they always tied it. They are on their way to overtime, but what will happen in the fourth game if they try to win things again? Well, I am absolutely unsure what it was going to say. Maybe because of what they have played here before is a very hard, unstakeable run. I'm pretty sure that there is a tough teams in the bound. Not really sure what they're going to do, but this is like the only average that they have played. It was very tough. A new look good to the different. We got some great average of rebounds, assists, and steals. One and one, but no blocks has turned out yet. Only two turnovers for Philadelphia and one for the Bulls. Now the new changes is being occurred here for the Bulls to get back underway. Here's Dasamu. Five back in the lane. Bodo gets rejected! And it's a rebound save by DeRozan. DeRozan, a swooping victory reprise. And I don't know who was the block. I thought it was going to be Danny Green or Joel Embiid, but the question is concerned what will happen here. There's a chance for Danny Green to pick up the block. Well, I, I have no idea, but it's very different. It's difficult where they are going for. Three alone. You bet! Three-pointer average for Zach Levine. Timeout called by this Philadelphia. And nobody is looking for Zach Levine. Well, this might be our only average here that does need to pull things up. He wants it. He wants it alone here. And want the Bulls fans to try to win things. All in a row here in Game 4. We know that last time it was uh, first and second game. Now this all turned out to be that. Only one block gives up here for Philadelphia. And now for Bulls, they have got some... They got some average here up high at 15 rebounds. This really stands up with the shot. And we need to keep an eye so you're on Zach Levine. Somebody has to be guarded. Man. Five needs to get right through it. And then this is what they need to know. That they don't they, they can't leave him. They need to keep the audio right from the uh, right right from the lane. This needs to go right from from the in-between angles of the course. And now, with a free star player of the game coming up, New Balance player of the game goes out to James Harden, the Beard Man. Second consecutive in rows here for James Harden is all have pulled up a pace a bit in just an attack run of a course. I, I knew he was ready to go right in for the insane run, but a lot of changes, I think all the Philadelphia fans love the boat, love Harden. Now two minutes left for Harden and the team. Harris back to Harden. Harden off to Maxi. Green trying to go for the screen, but now he switches off to Tobias Harris. And beat in the corner. Green to tie it. In and out. Gossamu with the rebound. D. Rosen back in again. 
Dazimu outside, covered by Levine. Levine on Harris. Back to Busevich. Over MB with the fade. Back to Levine, alley -oop. Good! What a show! This was an amazing play that no one has done before. Oh my! What a D here! And this is going to be a tackle takedown. D. Rosen on green. He stepped out of bounds. Great D by Danny Green. And only a minute and two left with one more block. We're on mobile one block. That was Joel and B. Oh uh, yeah, there was a call on Joel and B because that is what they've done so far. Now the play really stands out the shot. New changes coming in here for the Sixers and for the Bulls. This really stands out like they did before. Five -oh. Out again, Harden. He finds Maxi. Back to Harden for two. Up again. Rebound by Embiid. Get it to go. They're down by three. This really needs to go for a big place. They need to try to. They need to try to attack it a little more. Dawson will want Harden. Caruso outside. DeRozan on Harris. Up again, Levine, 30 seconds, five to shoot. Levine for two, up again. And it's his time now for a Philadelphia timeout with just 25 seconds. This is like a holy man that does bring it out here with a true beating, a true ending for their life. They've always picked up the dominant run on the score. And now for the next game coming up here on NBA Playoffs, it's the Warriors and the Nuggets here back at the Western Conference playoff position in the other end. The Warriors have already extended their lead up here by 3-0, but what will happen if the Nuggets don't have any average here to, me, to try to stop, the, uh, to stop the play? Well, it can be difficult to make the decision. I'm pretty sure that the fans really would love to see them play, and also with Michael Jordan, Scotty Pippen, I think they're also here at the game. They really love to be here. With a dynamic duos, and also the, the ultimate players that they have always been here quite nice. I really need to know about how this all turned out. And no timeouts left. If they make the three or not, it will be a timeout release here for the Bulls. Harden with the ball. Five ball to tie the game. You better! Timeout called by Chicago, and we're down to tie the game 50 to 50. Oh boy, the fans is like being in complete shock already with all the no moment of that happened again. Oh my goodness, wow. This was the toughest game that hey, nobody has ever played here before. And that was a tough one to make them play. And pay them back with a revenge. With all that happened here in the first and second game here with the Bulls of two average here, this was like the toughest game that they have played. All about any. Is there any anything else you want to say? Well, I, I guess that's uh, it's very quite uh, very pickable. I'm pretty sure of it. It looks like the balls might be going for uh, going for win, but I, it can be difficult here to like work their way around a bit. Now with all, it, it really does stand out to be uh, to be the only man himself, but not for anyone because all that we might not have a good uh, good transition to go in between the tricks. Now both teams have no timeouts left. Dusevich has to get covered here to find the pressure. Dazimu in a corner, 15 seconds. DeRozan over to Dazimu, 10 seconds left. Dazimu still on Harden, fighting inside. Russo, and he's fouled. Joel Embiid has picked up his first personal and another team foul given up on Philadelphia. Oh boy, this pressure is about to end here for the Sixers to stop the make a run play. It really does help it. And Alex Caruso 
will head to the free throw line to shoot two. His first foul comes in. Wow, the fans are really excited. They want to see the Bulls win here in the fourth game. They want it all. The second free throw is good. One more change, and that will be it. For the three, are you kidding me? Harden delivers it. Oh my goodness. Wow. I am shocked that the Sixers have just found an answer and because of James Harden. He just made it. Oh my gosh. Wow. This was a tight speed out there. I know. It was a very tough match out there. And to close things off, let's take you down to David. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Joel, in the past, you've had some critics, and you haven't run away from that. So what are you looking to prove out there? Oh, uh, just being dominant, so I want every time people hear my name, I want them to know that I'm a dominant player. That was certainly the case tonight, man. Congratulations. Kevin, back to you. DA, thank you very much, and this was the best play in the Eastern Conference showdown on Chicago and Philadelphia. Wow, I don't know what to say, this was going to be our next rival, but I don't know if it was going to be happening again, and without any adoptions, do you have anything to say before? Oh man, I, I, I was shocked already, I thought the Bulls would have won. Well, nah, not for that time, because of all that happens here, that was a playable that they played here most of the games and each careers of the season. So, I was very impressed with what happened here. This was like a toughest game that nobody has ever seen here before. Better than to be on a higher average or lowing or a disappointment on their run. And to close things up, let's have the three star players of the game, starting off with Fan. Thank you very much here, the Son of Beast. And let's have a quick look here on number three. Number three, Zach Levine only had 10 points, two rebounds, three assists, and an incredible start of the dunk. For the first period, really does turn out to be just like him. He's putting up a role, and he wants to do it just like he did. Now let's take your take for the number two player for me, though. Thank you. Number two, all oh, I've suddenly, I've always been seeing the play, who got it the best? Well, the answer to this question, who had it all? Number two it was James Harden with the uh, New Balance Player of the Game. Ten points, including the win year in the fourth quarter. This was like a tough average. He is just a, a milestone strong, just like that. Three assists, and just like that before, this is what they've done, just like he did. Now for you, Son of Beast. This all has, comes down that it was on the process. Joel Embiid, 19 points, 5 rebounds, 1 block. And I can't believe it because that all turns out to be just like him when he reaches out with just like a milestone pacing right from the court. So that ends it up here for the Eastern Conference matchups. We will stick around in the Western Conference. Coming up is the Nuggets and the Warriors. That will be happening here in Denver at Ball Arena. So if you're tuning with us here on, set up on my channel, we will be right back to start off with the third game. And then the last game will be Dallas Mavericks and the Jazz. So without being said, thank you all for so much for watching. And we'll see you all for the third game of the season, postseason of the NBA, NBA playoffs. I should have said that one here right. And for fan, thank you so much for uh, tuning in with us. And also uh, you can head on back down, back to Odell OJ. Thanks, guys. I'll be seeing you guys again soon. And you too. Peace out, everyone, for us a while as the NBA playoffs and for the NBA 2K22 dial. That's been a presentation for this one of the Eastern Conference 4th and 5th seed 
What a game, fellas. What a game. 53 to 52 is your final score. So, see you all for the next game. On the other hand, to flip it over.